Going over to the MRI now, we can see this spine has had some serious compression. This person was a big power lifter for many years and they'd retired, but they failed as the surgeon removed the posterior spine, the spinous process in the facet joints and removed partially, if not all of them back here and open up room for the cord to breathe a bit. So notice their spinous process and such is here, but it's all opened up down here from L3 down to L5. And that gave him breathing room, but it also caused him instability. A lot of the time we see instability. Instability can manifest itself uh, on an MRI. Um, you can see instability sometimes on an MRI. But for here, instability is going to take place right here at L3, L4. So you got L2, L3, L4, L5. And look at all the motion and torsion and extension and flexion and extension all take place at this segment because it's unstable. The collagen has gotten soft and it isn't a matter of the disc being smashed. It's just unstable. Okay. So instability when you remove the posterior part of the spine as you see here on the imaging it's removed so then you do get a little bit of breathing room for the cord and the nerve roots 